Coming to you from Pelican headquarters in Flagami, Florida. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Happy Friday and uh, welcome to the show. I'm so glad all of you are here. Uh, just uh, hanging out as uh, we do um, pretty much every Friday. I thought I wasn't going to be able to do a live stream today. I had, I had like actually something planned that I didn't even know it was on a Friday, but we decided to not to do it after all. Let me get uh, you guys here. Hello, road trip buddy, James Connett, Dylan Reynolds, uh, Jason Angelotti, uh, oh, Highland Hammocks, um, Happy Trails and Highway Tales, hello there, Anna Gabriela, hey Rick, hey Christina, made sure uh, I tuned in early so I didn't miss, uh, Robert, can, can't wait, should be a great show, hey Max McLear, hello there, Max McLear, formerly from Florida, currently from Arizona, beautiful state of Arizona, uh, Phoenix, uh, a, a, a fine state that I cannot wait to go back to. Uh, hopefully next winter uh, we'll go to Arizona. Uh, William Iris, Irisarri. Robert, howdy. Uh, to you, your wife, mom, and fellow RV enthusiasts from F Port St. Lucie, Florida. Hello, William and GM Bruza. Hello there. Uh, waiting for another thriller. Okay, all right. And... Uh, and um, Barbara Zig, hello Barbara, oh, everybody's here today, this is awesome, um, a Lucky Duck Productions moderator, a, 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 a Eclectic Chick, hello, and uh, Dylan Reynolds again, Jorge Urquiola, hello Jorge and Electric Chick, Howard Lunsford, Mark Drennan, hello, Chief Pelican Head Mark Drennan, uh, traveling Nate, hello there, Albert Garcia, uh, culture, lifestyle, travel, hello there, uh, Alex, Adam Fly, Pelican Fly, Barry a a a Edelman, Norcross, Georgia, hello there to you, uh, in Stone Mountain, oh man, I, I can't wait, I, I want to go to Stone Mountain, maybe I'll make a detour to Stone Mountain on, the, on, the, on our way north, uh, New Hampshire, Joe, hello there, and traveling Nate, Doug, and Susie Puzzi, from Jamaica. Oh, yeah, man. Susie from Jamaica. And Jackie Trujillo. Hello there. And uh, who else is here? Terry from Miami. Daniel Torres. Ricky R Ramos. Young Dave from uh, California. Greetings and salutations to you. And um, uh, hi, Robert. Do you have whereby open? I'm going to open it a little bit later. And uh, our crazy RV lives. Oops, forgot to say where at Wachula, Florida. Is that at that, that Peace River uh, Thousand Trails? Uh, that was our second uh, road trip. Greetings from North Korea. Iceberg plays. North Korea, huh? Cool. Say hello to Kim. Uh, says, uh, Scott Dimer uh, from cold Kansas City. And Lucky Dog Productions. Happy IPA Friday to you, Lucky Dog. And uh, Bob... Uh, <coughs> Ted's Laugh Family Adventures from Illinois. Lynn Peña, where are you now? Where are we are, uh, I'm in home office here in Miami, Florida still. Uh, and I'm going to be here for probably the rest of the month. Uh, mo uh, most of the time, probably uh, up until uh, May 1st, which is when the Alaska trim trip begins. Um, I'm trying to, to, to get as many of these uh, videos out as possible. And, uh, and the thing, Oregon took me forever. But Oregon, uh, for those of you who are uh, not on Patreon or members, uh, you haven't seen it yet. But uh, on Sunday, it's going to be an hour and 13 minutes. It's a, it's a long video, but uh, I, it didn't feel right uh, to chop uh, uh, the Oregon coast in half and do maybe uh, up until Tillamook and then from Tillamook North. So, um, yeah, you're getting a, a, a whole uh, feature film length uh, video for sure. And uh, I think you're going to like it. Uh, Linda Barker from Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, Mitch uh, from Colorado, and uh, Iceberg Plays, hello there, Joanne Ridgeway, hey Joe, how are ya? Looking good there, uh, Joe from Alabama, and Cynthia Schumach, hello from Mobile, Alabama, happy Friday to you too, the Lost RVers, hello brother, hello Rob Roberto, back from an awesome desert road trip, yeah, I, th I think I saw some pictures, um, did I or was it on Instagram? I I, forget. I saw some some stuff that you posted. Um, uh, traveling Nate dog, look forward to your lives. Thank you so much, Albert Garcia. <laughs> uh, cool stuff. Fury from Kentucky. Joe Da Vinci. Uh, 
Uh, will you go as far as north to Barrow, Alaska? If I can get a, a plane ride, I sure will. George Coro, hello from Sweden. I hope to see you in October in Miami at last. At last. In October. Yeah, I'll probably be back in Miami by, by October. Uh, yeah. Uh, Volcano Time Lapse. Hello there from Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, Steve Halterman. Thank you so much for that super chat from Des Moines. Hello there. And uh, before that, Aaron Romano, what has been your favorite city to walk through on one of your trips? To walk through. there, You know, there are some walkable cities. Of course, once you get used to New York, it's, it's, it's one of those uh, cities. I, you know, like, like the big uh, cities, Chicago was a great city to walk uh, uh, around as well. You know which one? And uh, you're going to see it on, on this uh, Sunday's video. Astoria, Oregon. Uh, okay, let me see. Our Crazy RV Live. We're originally from Canton. Oh, Canton. Uh, Crazy RV Live. Oh, man. This, the the, the, the chat is going fast today. Oh, this traveler is here. Man, this traveler. You, you're, you've posted a lot of pictures on our Facebook group. Uh... Uh, from the, your central Florida area. Hey, Robert, uh, what is the brand of Cuban coffee do you drink? Uh, I either have uh, Bustelo or Pilon, which are actually the same thing. It's the, it's Rowland coffee. It's made by the same people. And if they don't, if unless they have La Llave on special at Publix. If they have La Llave, like at two for five dollars, I get La Llave. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Northern Pacific Railway history. How long will you be gone on your Alaska trip? Couple of months. I, I haven't planned it to the to the to the week yet, but uh, I, I want to be in Fairbanks uh, June twentieth, and uh, I'm I'm gonna be there at least until it gets dark, so I can see the maybe the the the, the, the northern lights. Uh, CLT. Hey Pelican Hands, don't forget to pre-order Robert's two disc CD. Get it here at uh, merch. Yeah, get it there. Actually, let me show you. It's here. Actually, I already shipped a bunch of them. Hey, Greg Cranham, thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you. I already sold a bunch of them, uh, shipped a bunch of them. It's, this is the new CD with a new picture. And in the middle, you get a very nice picture of uh, a Forrest Gump point in, 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 in um, Monument Valley. And then I divided it into uh, oldies and newbies. You know, this is everything I composed before 2014. And then this is all the all the RV era music from 2014 until till present. So um, I, I I like the way it's. And by the way, it's, it's already. Hi, Rebecca Hernandez, um, and uh, Max McLear, this traveler Jessica M from Northern Virginia, waiting for a temp to warm up to start some more RV adventures. And the day, let me tell you, the days are getting longer. And I totally t lost my train of thought. I was gonna say something profound. I'm sure. And I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> In any case, uh, Andy Barley, hello. Uh, um, oh, our crazy RV life. Thank you so much for that super chat. I remember what I was going to say. Uh, by the way, it's already available on, on Spotify and, uh, and pretty much everywhere that um, CDs are sold or music is sold these days. So uh, if you want to check it out, Uh, there. Can you hear the music? It has uh, a, that would be like yeah. Driving to the east is the one that is. I wonder why New Jersey Turnpike they put it as driving explicit. That east. song is an instrument. Maybe, maybe I goofed, but I set it up. <laughs> I got been away. In any case, driving to the east. Oh, maybe the music was too loud and you couldn't hear what I was saying. But in any case, uh, the the music is available on Spotify, it's on Apple Music. It's it's not on Amazon yet, but it'll be soon. The Goombas, thank you so much for that super chat. Happy Friday, Robert. Cheers to all the Pelican heads. Lucky dog. Tennis for everyone. Absolutely love your videos. The U.S. seems like a beautiful country to visit. I hope that one day you will travel to Iran and learn all about the Persian Empire. You have fans all over the world. Thank you so much. And one day I really hope to, to visit Iran. 
uh, it, I, I've heard it's a beautiful country and uh, it's you know too bad that our governments just can't get along but maybe someday maybe someday that 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 will change and and I can you know uh, see the Caspian Sea from the Iranian side uh, one day a uh, Harlem world boy hello Robert from St. Albans I'm retiring next week and I'm looking forward to my RV travel your channel has helped me greatly well I'm, I'm glad to help man and uh, and um, uh, yeah it's it's a to uh, once uh, once you travel by an RV is um, this traveler explicit. You know what? I don't know the New Jersey Turnpike why it says explicit. <laughs> Did I pronounce that right? Um, actually, it does make sense because that music is based on the music from the TV show The Sopranos. It's it's not like a it's it's based. It's inspired by, and that's why it's called the New Jersey Turnpike. But um, Tommy McDowell, what are we drinking? Oh, glad you asked. Um, by the way, I'm, today I'm, I'm wearing Calif Carolina Burger uh, original uh, T-shirt, which was given to me by the by the owners. They, they were at the at the, at the homestead meetup. Uh, Harlem World Boy, thank you so much uh, for that super chat. Love your videos, brother. Thank you so much. Oh, we have a. Let me see how many people we have today on the chat. 300, 305 right now. 305, and we are transmitted from the 305. So that's. Uh, Quite appropriate. Let me let me get a beer because it's Friday, right? It wouldn't be a, a, a an RV chat Friday uh, without a beer. And today we are having well, it would have, it had to be an IPA. And this one I got at at Publix yesterday. I hadn't had this one yet. And this one is actually, I was going to get something local from Miami, but I, I pretty much had, had, have had everything or many of the local beers. This one is from Long Island, Blue Point Brewing Company IPA. The IPA, unlike any other, is going to be my first time tasting it. I just got it at Publix uh, yesterday. And uh, it's very light in color. And if we're going to do a review here, like uh, as if we were reviewing wine, as you can see, it is kind of light in color. It's kind of light in taste as well. But it's good. It's good. I like it. It's, it's not one of those super hoppy IPAs. It's not hoppy. It's happy. How about that? Thank you so much, Linda Barker, for that super chat. Oh, looking forward to the Oregon coast on Sunday. A one hour and 30 minutes and Radu Stufurak. Stefurak. Greetings from New Brunswick, Canada. Looking good, Robert. Thank you so much for that super chat. And I, 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 and I hope to see you when I visit uh, New Brunswick. Maybe after my long trek along the, the Trans-Canada Highway. I, 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 I'm thinking of taking the Trans-Canada. Anthony Carreno. Thank you so much for that super chat. Favorite pub sub? Favorite pub sub? I don't know. What's a pub sub? Uh, you know, you, I, I like Philly cheesesteaks. And, uh, and I used to like French dip sandwiches. The Traveling Elk. Hello there, Mr. Dale. Whom I met, uh, I've met several times. I met recently here uh, in Miami. Uh, checking in from the cold Tampa Bay area. I'm sure it's freezing up there. It's 72 here, which actually is it's actually um, colder than actually it is not. It's, it's it's been very pleasant today. Greg Cranham, thank you so much for that super chat. Uh, Robert, videos and music are the best. Thank you so much. And Armando Correa, thank you so much for that super sticker. Thank you, I appreciate it. And um, uh, Robert, make longer videos, please, from Azura. And uh, let me tell you something. It's, uh, I think, uh, an hour and 13 minutes is the longest I can make it in a week, uh, in a weekly basis. And uh, yeah, this this one took me took me a long time. And I, I I have a feeling the uh, the Washington. But I'm gonna have several videos from Washington, but the, the Olympic Peninsula might take me a long time too because I did several hikes. And um, of course, at first I did Cape Disappointment State Park, which is right there on the Columbia River. And then I went up, 
and I stayed at this tiny RV park in this small town, very close to the northwestern point, and I went to Cape Alava, or Alava, I don't know how you pronounce it, which is the westernmost point in the lower 48, and then I went to Cape Flattery, which is the northwestern tip. So, and then I went into Port Angeles, and I went into the Hurricane Ridge, uh, that's uh, Olympic National Park. And that's going to be the next video, after, after the Oregon coast. So, um, yeah, did I miss any super chats? If I did, uh, please, uh, somebody let me know, send me a text, uh, because... Uh, I think I got everybody. Thank you, by the way. I really appreciate it. Um, Felipe Magia Magini. Hey, Robert, can you give me a tip? What is the best way to go from Miami to Chicago? Well, what I did, I followed the GPS. It's probably I-75 up to, uh, you know, you do, you do Atlanta, Chattanooga, Nashville, Louisville, Indianapolis, and then just... You, you, Oh, up to Chicago, I think that's the that's the, the the fastest way, the most efficient way. Uh, Dance around founders IPA, yeah, I like that one too. And uh, I'm sorry, I don't, I cannot read Cyrillic, but hi from Russia. Thank you very much for being here, uh, Dylan Reynolds. Do you think we should meet when you come to Ontario, Canada? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, I, 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 I probably should do a, a, an Ontario meetup. Where are you in Ontario, Toronto, or are you somewhere else? Um, Lisa Lisa in the 50s and lowering in Tampa. Brr, yeah, it's going to be cold here in a couple of days. Cold by Miami standards. I think it's going to go like into the 50s. But uh, yeah, there's a cold front coming. Uh, by the way, I was... Uh, hey, Krund, Krund, Krund. I, I, I think I always mispronounce your name. And Krund travels and other stories, Mr. Ortiz. Uh Happy Friday too, yeah. I was I was doing a video outdoors a couple of days ago. I was at outside at the at the you know it's another product review that I'm gonna do. It's a tent. Believe it or not, I, I got me a tent. They sent me a tent, and I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll review it. You know, my first tent. Uh, I'll do that because you know I want to do a couple of multi-day hikes. And I was out there probably two or three days ago, and I was sweating. It was probably 80 degrees in real life but inside the tent it was more um Chantal Apollini hello from Ontario Canada where you plan on traveling next uh, well until May May I'm gonna go up to Kansas City uh, Des Moines Iowa uh, then South Dakota I'll probably gotta go, go to Minnesota to the headwaters of the Mississippi and then uh, going west uh, through North Dakota into Glacier National Park and then on to Alaska that's the plan anyways uh, Denny McKnight Robert uh, you have to stay at Corn Cornholio RV Resort in Hyder, Alaska on the Alaska Canadian board. Oh yeah, they have a, a, an RV resort in Hyder, Alaska. I would. I, I'm gonna go to Hyder on my way back uh, from Alaska because uh, I'm going up the Alcan and then back through the Cassiar. So yeah. I mean, this it's starting to grow me. It's kind of citrusy. Uh, Thank you, CLT. Uh, yeah, my my new episode of the podcast. I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start to, to trying to do more episodes, uh, more interviews on the podcast. By the way, guys. Uh, Carlo from Pennsylvania. My daughter, who's seven, sings all your songs uh, on your videos. Two thousand two, sassy. Well, that's super cool. And uh, well, thank you for that. And. Uh, Go RVing with R and V. Hello, Robert. We watch the vids. Feel like family. Oh, thank you. Vince and Roseanne. Ros Roseanne. Yeah, that's why RV, VR. Um, any plans for a European road adventure 2021? I mean, it's it's one of those pipe dream plans. But uh, what we want to do, and we would love to revisit Finland, and of course, we would love to go to every country in Europe. But realistically, we're, gonna pr we're probably going to do a month. Uh, if by then we can do a month, if Ili can, you know, be with me full time for a month. And uh, we want to live from Spain, maybe we'll rent it or something in Madrid. We'll go down to Alicante to visit the, the, the family. 
that moved to uh, Alicante, and then we'll go into France through the French Riviera, and then into Italy. And I want to do probably a, a little bit of like the the Tuscany area, and then I don't know if you if you guys uh, follow um, Heath and Alicia, they they went with the RV geeks and they went to northern Italy, and I want to visit that area too. Uh, probably Venice and north of Venice, and and that's probably too much for a month already because there's so much to see out there. That's kind of like the the loose plan in my head right now. Lisa, Lisa, have you gone to West Virginia? The waterfall there are awesome. Uh, trials not trails not to meet. Lots of mountains. Sightseeing is amazing. You know, I I I only did Harper's Ferry. Just because that, that I wanted to see Harper's Ferry because of the history and because it is at the, the halfway point of the Appalachian Appalachian Trail. So, but um, but I need to go back. Rebecca Hernandez, you need to you need a large tarp to place under the tent. Also, make sure that you have good mats for that. Sleeping bags which have temperature ranges. Yes. Uh, uh yeah I, I need to get all that stuff but i, I figured getting this this as my first tent it seems pretty well solidly built i don't know anything about tents so, so I, I said at the end of the video this is not really a review this is just uh um and i'm probably gonna post that one on wednesday um you guys let me know what you think and uh, <clears throat> because the first one that i want to do probably a uh, Next uh, next year, early next year, I want to do the the rim to rim in the Grand Canyon, going from the the south rim to the north or the north to the south. I don't know yet. And uh, on that one, you get to spend one night at the bottom of the uh, of the canyon. So, the Grand Canyon. <clears throat> Would you be trading in Minitini anytime soon? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Uh, Robert, have you been to all fifty states? No, I still I'm still missing Vermont and North Dakota. Oddly enough. I've driven through other states like New Hampshire and Maryland and, and Connecticut, but I don't know if I should count them because I've only driven through them. I've seen them, but I've, I've, I've never, I haven't really. <clears throat> Plan on visiting Cape Cod one of these days. Yeah, Joe Dom, Dom Vinch, Vince. Uh, Tim Kennedy, hey Robert, what kind of MPG do you get towing with the Colorado? How much better is it uh, the, than old Kia? Well, old Kia was 9 and 10 around there. The Colorado is about 13 12 around there clt hey robert let me know if i can help on your podcast as a guest host whenever you're traveling i don't mind filling in to help you out thank you man thank you i appreciate it and uh yeah definitely at some point i, I, I need to start uh, putting in putting more content on the podcast and uh, interviews seem to be the, the a good way to go hello trond alipo zizi from uh, hello uh, alipo Alipu and Trond from Norway. Hello there. And uh, Azura, my friend Zabiana says hi. All right. And Christopher Tishman, any more any more solid plans for a meet and greet in Kansas City? How about them Chiefs? Uh, yeah, right. They won. Uh, <coughs> uh, there's nothing solid yet. Uh, but uh, I have, I think I have s s so someone looking out uh, for for a location to do the meetup. And um, if, if if you if you do uh, find the location and you want to do it, send me an email. And that, that's something that I wanted to talk about. I'll, I'll, some people, are, uh, even someone unsubscribed from the newsletter uh, today, because I guess they got upset because sometimes I don't answer. Uh, messages on, on Facebook and to be honest that that Facebook inbox is, is a mess and uh, I get way too many messages and there's no way to organize them so if, if you if you really want me to read something send me an email robert at travelingrobert.com because that's the best way uh, and what I when I do in, in Outlook I, 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 I set up uh, folders so let's say you you tell me about something in, in Michigan I have it there. I have a folder and a subfolder with Michigan. So whenever I go back to Michigan, for example, I have all the emails of people that have told me something about Michigan and that kind of thing. And it's the, it's the only way for me to get organized. I'm disorganized by nature. Uh, so imagine that. Hey, Gemini Adventures. Thank you so much for that super chat from Riverview, Florida. Damn, Bixler. Thank you so much. And um, okay, let me read some more of your comments here. Uh, hey, Robert, have you looked at any Forest River arpeds? I've seen them. 
I, I've seen them and they're pretty cool. I, I think they all have wet baths and that's what I didn't like about them. But uh, right now, I'm... Um, John Ferris, I figured that when a big of my boy I come to you with a deal on a new trailer, now that you are, have over 100,000 subscribers, you're big time now. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, uh, Dylan Reynolds, hi, Robert. When you come to Ontario in August, we should meet up. Uh, I live in Pickering, Ontario, suburb of Toronto. Definitely, definitely we could meet up. Uh, that would be really cool to do a, a, a Toronto area. Uh, meet up if we will um a nutty cine 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 thank you so much for that super sticker right this they call them super stickers now thank you so much uh, for that super sticker uh, elkhart indiana 13 degrees Brrr, oh man i don't want to winterize um skater 3338 hello mr morales would you consider doing a similar singing collaboration with jennifer lopez or gloria estefan would you uh, Gloria Stefan, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I'm not really. Uh, yeah, I, I, absolutely. I would. Uh, I would do a singing collaboration with. Maybe we can do a, 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 a duetto version of riding in my RV. And I missed old. I miss old Kia. Thank you so much for that super chat. Oh, you even have the icon of old of old Kia. <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, De Debbie. Coconis, thank you so much for that super sticker. Oh, and it goes like this too and everything. Oh, that's super cool. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, and we have a new chief pelican head, Mr. Trond K Kian. Oh, man. I'm, I'm going to miss. I'm going to mess this one up. Uh, Kiar, Kian, Ki Kiarn, Kia, Kiarzmo. Kiarzmo? Kiasmo from, from Norway. Thank you so much, Mr. Chief Pelican Head from Norway. And um, now you can watch the, the the Oregon video if you go to the to the community tab. Um, uh, Rodney Schultz, Robert, we are from Avon, Indiana. We love your videos and inspiration. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, and I'm so I'm really glad uh, to be able to to help you in any way. And I miss Olkia from Savannah. I really want to go back to Savannah. Really enjoying your current series and very impressed with your camera work and editing skills. Thank you. Can you recommend the GoPro? Um, yeah, the, the, the video quality is amazing. The audio quality kind of sucks, uh, to be honest. Um, it, it's really hit or miss. And sometimes it crashes. But when it works, it's, it's an amazing camera. So... Yeah, I'll recommend it. The seven, the eight. I'm not cra too crazy about those modules that you know how you have to buy if you want to uh, add stuff to it. So, uh, Ellen Millen from New Jersey, getting ready to buy our first Trevor Trader in a few weeks. Well, congratulations. Good luck with that, and um, make sure you you make sure that everything works before before you take delivery. Uh, uh, hey, shifting currents and moment. Elotol, please say hi to my boyfriend, Ahmed Yar. Hello, Ahmed Yar. By the way, I didn't show you last week, but uh, that's uh, our uh, Valentine's Day heart back there next to uh, the, 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 the Norwegian flag and the picture of Ili and I at the Arctic Circle in Finland that uh, this traveler sent us and my Pelican collection back there and my refrigerator. And uh, yeah, Pat Hope, oh, Hopi. Thank you so much for that super chat. Uh, hi, Robert. We really enjoy your videos. Uh, they give us great destination ideas. Pat and Rose Hoppy. So I said it right. <coughs> uh, old Kia belongs in a car museum. I <laughs> had a lot of history. Albert Garcia. Yeah, it sure did. It, 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 it did uh, go to many, many states. Uh, Tornado TRG, found your playlist on Spotify. We enjoy your music. When are you going to visit Mexico? Hopefully soon. I we'll have a text message from... Uh-oh, I have text messages. There were two super chats before the Gombas that you missed. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And... Uh... Mm -hmm. 
Okay, yeah, I, I'm getting text messages here from. I'm I'm sorry if I missed uh, one of the super chats, guys. Uh, you know, it's um. The, 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 you know, I'm, the, this chat is going uh, sometimes a little too 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 quickly for me. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, Radu Stofarak, Robert, could you comment on Sony X3000 versus GoPro, please? Uh, yes. How could anyone not anyone not like you? Oh well, you know, it, I'm, I'm, some sometimes people, you know, I I rub them the wrong way, you know. Um, uh, Ellen, I know, I know we're neighbors, but you were a big inspiration. Thank you. You're welcome. And hello over the hill, RV. Hello, um, uh, Scott Dimer, do a meetup. Hey, Red Jaguar, 100 travels. Hello, I'm my fellow Pelican heads, uh, Mr. Red Jaguar. By the way, congratulations on that new Tiffin motorhome. Uh, <laughs> Do a meetup in Kansas City. Definitely, I'm gonna try to do a meetup in Kansas City. Thank you, George Coro and um, George Eddings from Spring Hill, Florida. Hello there. Okay, um, uh, Jackie Trujillo, Robert, what are you drinking now? This is um, an IPA I picked up at Publix yesterday. I had never had it before, so I said, you know, or at least I didn't remember having it before. So said, it's from it's from uh, from Long Island. And um, I like the Long Island iced tea, so I figure. Oh, CLT is ge is heading out to Hard Rock Guitar to to Council Oak Steakhouse for dinner. Bye, everybody, CLT man, and uh, have a great dinner. Say hello to Andrea, and um, and I haven't been to the to the new Hard Rock uh, Guitar Hotel yet. James Darren, thank you so much for that super chat. Just found your channel. Love your style of video production. Thank you so much, James, and welcome, welcome to the the clubs. To the club, um, we call ourselves the Pelican Heads, and uh, and uh, you know, make yourself at home. Uh, we, we we I really enjoy doing this uh, the Friday chats. And let me let me talk about the Sony X three thousand versus GoPro Hero Seven, the two cameras that I use right now. The X three thousand is starting to show its age, and the main problem with the X three thousand is the batteries. The batteries they don't last very long and they will die in the middle of, of a shot and and you you don't realize um, batteries run out until until you've been talking to the camera for ten minutes and then you say, oh crap I have to start over again happened too, way too many times. Um, that being said, it is very reliable and uh, in, in the sense that it never crashes and it has excellent audio quality it's, it's a great vlogging cam especially if there's no wind so um now the gopro i think it, it may have a slightly better optics than the gopro the gopro has better stabilization it has a screen in the back so you can see what you're filming and um and i think it does have a little better video quality the the, the, the optics are not as great and uh, and it tends to be unreliable. Now the batteries they last over an hour, so that's the plus. And um, and that it has that screen in the back. Uh, at this point, I would probably go for the GoPro Seven. Yeah. Robert, are you going to make any winters surviving the winter in Washington? Um, probably not. I was there in summertime. And uh, and there's one thing that I don't ever want to do. I don't ever want to winterize Minitini. So, um. <coughs> uh, Mark Drennan, how much for the new CD? Uh, the new CD is still 12 bucks I'm, I'm, uh, because I'm still like in pre-order mode, but it's 50, 50 songs in it. I might uh, raise the price a little bit just to make it a little more sustainable because uh, I'm making a razor, razor thin margin there once you factor in shipping and uh, what the CDs cost in the first place. And, uh, and uh, you know, it's time consuming also sending the CDs. So I might go up to $14, $15 on the CD. I don't know yet. Would you, would you guys still buy it if I raise the price a little bit? Uh, that's that's the question. Um uh, Joe Dom Vince, what's your favorite IPA? I don't really have one. My my first one uh, was uh, Lagunitas. Um, my for nostalgia's sake, I I like Cigar City. 
But nowadays, I like some of these hoppier, stronger. I, I like Funky Buddha. Um, I like uh, North High in Ohio makes some great ones too. I've, I've, that, that North High, that the good thing is these things, uh, they sent me some of those. Um, I, um, you know, I, I, I've been able to try the, the, all, the, all the whole variety. Ah. Uh, Momin, he's in USA where I am in London with the gang that you get me uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, hi Robert maybe you should buy a new camera before Alaska I will I'm gonna buy a new camera mainly because this is what happened my good Sony I think I banged it one too many times uh, or something happened. This kind of dying is, is dying a, a very slow death here, but the, the screen is a touch screen and it doesn't work anymore. So, and that's very important because if, if I want to change any settings, like be beyond, you know, like manual focus, I can do and that kind of thing. But if I want to change any settings, I need that touch screen. So, Right now, the camera is uh, on permanent automatic uh, mode, and that's no good because sometimes you want to play with the white balance and those kinds of things. Or you want to preview the videos that you've taken. So, um, oh, we've got some. We got. Uh, do we have a troll in the room? Um, <clears throat> uh, and I totally lost my train of thought again. I'm ah I'm waiting till the last minute because so, this is still the latest camcorder style camera that Sony has uh, that has this great stabilization. So I'm gonna wait until the last minute see if Sony comes out with a with a an updated version of this. Otherwise, I'm gonna buy another one of these. They have gone down in price, and um, and I know people sometimes tell me get a DSLR with the, you get the depth of field, but. To me, this is, I'm so used to this form factor to be able to, to shoot like this. And this one even has like a viewfinder if it's really bright. And uh, and I can do, I mean, it doesn't have the sharpness and the and the depth of field and, uh, and the dynamic range that some of the better cameras have. But I can do stuff with this camera that you cannot do with, with, uh, with DSLR. <clears throat> So I'm going to keep that one and I might buy uh, another uh, Sony X3000 because this one I, I also banged it against something and the lens, if you look at some of the shots, part of the image is a little uh, blurry out of focus. <clears throat> uh, Robert uh, Vnekak, Vnenkak, uh, when you say you don't want to winterize mini teeny, it's because you would have to go somewhere cold on winterizing, does something to the... Re no, it's just... Uh, it's just, I think it's probably a hassle to winterize it and then de-winterize it. And um, <clears throat> so I, I never want to be a, anywhere uh, that, so, that is, is so cold that I would have to winterize. I've been in the teens with Mini Tini and yeah, the, the black water uh, 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 hose froze, but uh, it held up, held up pretty well. <clears throat> Red Jaguar, okay, gang in the house tonight Look at Lucky Duck Productions. Oh, Joe Dom Vince. Thank you so much for that super chat. A European adventure, Ireland, England, and continent. As I said earlier, I was I was thinking of doing like uh, like Spain, uh, southern France, Italy. We never been to Italy, and uh, and as, as some of you probably know, I lived in Spain uh, for a year of my uh, life when I was very young, seven, sixteen, seventeen years old. Uh, so I would like to go back and. Uh, <clears throat> But I would love to do uh, 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 England, you know, Great Britain. I would love to do uh, England, like uh, Scotland and uh, Ireland, for sure. I would love to do that. It's just uh, the world is so big and there's uh, so little time. But we'll, I'll make it there. I'll make it there. Uh, Carmen Rodriguez, I had uh, to several times step away from watching you climb Angel's Landing, but I give you so much credit for doing so. Yeah, that was a climb of a lifetime. I may not get to do something like that ever again, but yeah, uh, definitely. <clears throat> oh man, I'm losing my voice. What's going on? Hold on. <clears throat> mm. 
All right, I'm back. <laughs> Car ah, the, from North Carolina, what's the story on your shirt? All oh, the owners of Carolina Burger uh, gave me this uh, shirt. And uh, there it is on the back, Carolina Burger. Uh, I, hopefully, I, I can visit them when, uh, when, when I go to North Carolina. Yeah, that's... The shirt of the day, Miguel Roca. Thank you so much for that super sticker. Thank you so much. Keep it up. Yeah, you know, I haven't, I haven't been uh, working out. I haven't done any, it's, it's, like, I ran yesterday. Today, I didn't do anything. Or was it today that I ran? No, I ran this morning. Yesterday was the, the day that I didn't do anything because I wanted to finish that Oregon uh, video. So, yeah. Amazing Nathan's World. Hi, Robert. Got your new CD from the mail. Love the new music. Finally, have all of your CD releases. Keep it up. Yes, and the, and this CD, well, I, I, uh, it has like all the new stuff, Driving to the East and all the, the newer incidental music. So, yeah. Uh, Bob Leach. Hey, Robert, where, where, where do you get your fancy cooking wine? What's the brand name? Well, here in Miami, you can get it pretty much anywhere. Even Publix has their own like generic... Uh, it's uh, it's called Edmundo. That's like the main brand, but Goya makes it too. And you know, like you know, the the, the, the Spanish brands they make it. I just the only place I've been able to find it, like at a supermarket, has been in in, in Pennsylvania. But uh, Amazon has it too. Uh, Greg Cranham, thank you so much for that super sticker. I like it. <laughs> <clears throat> The X3000 seems to be unavailable. Oh, really? Maybe they, they already discontinued it. Uh, okay, so I figured out how to get a super sticker. Uh, Soup591. Just got back from my first trip to the Everglades and the Keys from Massachusetts. It was awesome. I partied a little too. Well, the, the Keys are like a party town, you know. Uh, hard in Key West and paid for it. It <laughs> was a great trip regardless. Yeah. Mike Darden, any new upgrades coming to Minitini before you head out to your next travels? Probably in... Well, the axles. If 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 if, if, if I'm going to take Minitini to Alaska, I have to fix those axles because... Um, and... And still, I still got a couple of months... I, I, I might do it along the way. I don't really uh, know anybody here in Miami uh, that, that will do it. So um, that and, and batteries, but I'm probably going to use one of those uh, battery packs that I that I reviewed lately. Uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out to, to work with those in combination um, with with my current battery system. Because right now, if, if, if I'll probably get a new, a, a new AGM, but right now, the, the one the, the one thing that is killing my battery is that inverter. When I use the inverter and I turn on the computer, yeah. All right. Uh, Greg Cranham, and we can tour the UK in an English RV caravan. Yes, definitely. I, I still need to figure out how to, ri how to drive on the other side of the road and more importantly, how to shift with my left hand. That that would be to me uh, the, the, the one thing that I'm most afraid of. So I wouldn't rent it like in London and try to drive out of London. I, I, if I could rent it somewhere on the outskirts where I could find an open road and practice before. So um, Armando calls a photographer from Miami that really enjoys your videos. Thank you so much. A recent RV owner as well. Congratulations. Oh, re Dylan Reynolds. Hi, Robert. You're going to, the, to do Southwestern Ontario in 2020. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to be up there on my way back from Alaska. Uh, Mark, Michelle K. got the new CD uh, today. And has anybody told you the, they cry at your music? Rain Rain is so such a beautiful song. Thank you so much. Somebody told me that they cried uh, listening to Desert Rain. And uh, and I wrote it myself, but I like it too. It's uh, it's one of my favorites. Um, uh, Joe Domvink, what GoPro can you recommend? I would recommend the 7, even though uh, it's not perfect. Uh, Christopher Olson, the mods have a busy job today. Yeah, I haven't even been able to see what the what the comments were. But, uh, yeah. 
I'm telling you, man, the more... How many people do we have? We have 356 concurrent right now. And um, that's probably why, you know, the more people we get, you know, you always get uh, the Lost RVers. Thank you so much for that. Super chat. If you could use one camera, which one would you use? That Sony back there, the one that I showed earlier. Because... I mean, it's it's kind of big and it's it screams tourist, but it also it also doesn't look professional looking. So I can g get away with looking just like a tourist, like a, 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 like an older tourist taking a video. And the the white the angle is wide enough that I could go like this and do selfie. Um, well, maybe I should show you guys. The angle is wide enough that I could go like this and do selfie video, and it has really good stereo audio. I mean, it's, 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 uh, this is, if I could only take one camera, this would be it. And I also have my phone, which, which, if you really look, you can probably notice, but in some of the videos, sometimes you will see a couple of things shot with my phone, with my Galaxy 9. Oh, that Galaxy uh, 20, the, the, the it's just nice. <laughs> Uh, all right. Ever been to the No Name Pub? Uh, yes, I have, uh, Joe Davins. Uh, the Real Robert A1. No, I am the Real Robert. <laughs> I'm in Germany. All right. Good girl, Joe. Lucky Duck Productions moderator. God bless you. Okay. Enjoy your videos, Nancy Medina. Thank you, Matt. Do you plan on getting a new Minitini or a Class B? At some point, I want to get a Class B, but Minitini, I'm staying with Minitini for a couple of years. Um, hey, Robert, do you have an old Sony charger from a Sony VHS-C camcorder? Interested in buying you have one. No, I have an old uh, Sony uh, 8, uh, the, one of the high 8 uh, camcorders. It doesn't work anymore, but it's back there. Uh, do you know Fresco? No, I don't know Fresco. Hyder, Alaska. Yes, definitely. I'm going to Hyder, Alaska, Danny McKnight and Donovan Davis. Robert, headed to Miami this Monday with my wife, living out on a cruise. Hey, enjoy. And the Goombas love No Name Pub. I've been there only once, but uh, we, we liked it too. That was a fun night at that non name pub. Um, coming down to Florida in April, can't wait. April is a good month because uh, um, it's 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 kind of quiet. Any plans to go through Southwest Missouri? Yes, I do. Uh, Armando calls. Thank you so much for that super chat. Uh, what do you use to store all your images and video? And if you give class for editing, sign me up. I use this. Um, right now, since I switched to Adobe Premiere, I have uh, seven of these. And these are five terabytes each. This is where I store all the video. The images from my phone, I actually have a, 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 in, the, in the Google Cloud. But yeah, this is Premiere 3, and I'm, I'm by Premiere 7. So that's... Now, those disks are not very fast, so they're really not very good for um, for editing. So whatever I am using at the, at the moment, I have a one terabyte uh, SSD that is pretty fast. It's a, it's a, it's a Samsung, uh, it's called the Samsung T5. Samsung T5, and those are very good, very fast. And that's what I use to edit. Um, hi, Traveling Buckeyes. And uh, next time you're in Marin, California, you must go to the top of Mount Tamalpais. Tamal? Tamalpais? Pais? Tamal Pais? For the best view of the entire Bay Area. It's spectacular. I'll check it out, definitely. Um, it's going to be a while, probably, since I'm in, in Marin County again. But who knows? 
it's gonna be at least probably a year and a half to maybe not maybe, maybe we start tra traveling full-time and i'll make it before <laughs> will you be touring virginia yes definitely uh, in the I want to see Williamsburg. I want to see Jamestown and uh, that area I haven't seen yet. Um, uh, Valerie Hanks. Uh, Robert, I want to know if you're taking your mom any soon on the road with you. Love from NYC. And she certainly wants to. So we're going to try to do a, 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 at least a section of the, of the Alaska trip uh, with her uh, for sure. And uh, it, how many times uh, for average vid do you have to get up and down from the roof of Minitini for the traveling shots? Well, lately, since I, uh, I, I put that power bank up there, which I have it right here, by the way, it's, uh, I just finished uh, charging it. I have it held with Velcro to the roof of Minitini and Anchor seems to be the brand that, that GoPro likes. So it hardly ever uh, crashes. It still does crash from time to time, but not as much. And uh, I'm on, usually I just leave it running and uh, it lasts four hours. So every four hours and, and usually I don't, I don't travel more than four hours. So that's uh, a moment. Unfortunately, I have to go, but my wife Rahula is going to be here and she wish you if you sing at the end of the stream. Yes, I will. Uh, William Rizarri Fresco is the new name for Win Dixie, I think. Yeah, that's a. They still have Win Dixie, but Fresco, uh, uh, they're, they're doing it like. Uh, did you see that? This message is held for review. Hmm. Uh, I was going to say something and I, the chat totally uh, threw me off. What were we talking about? <laughs> yeah, Fresco, I think it's like the, the, the Win Dixie is like their brand uh, to at attract the, the Hispanic uh, public. And um, they have him here in Miami. It, it, it's kind of, they have like a big yellow sign that says Fresco y más, which means uh, and more in Spanish. Uh, <clears throat> Trond, if you ever come back to Norway and in the middle of where I live, let me know. I'll see that you get the great round trip in the middle of Norway. Definitely, I w I, I'm going to go back to Norway at some point. In fact, I just met up with some Norwegian friends that we've known since Cuba. And, you know, they told me that if I go to Oslo, you know, they, they, I have an apartment there. If, if, they, if, uh, if, you know, they would lend me their, their place. And, um, and he recommended to do like the, the, the whole Atlantic coast. But definitely in the center of, of Norway would be awesome too. All right. What did I miss? Hey, Motocross Max. Robert, can you sing Riding in My RV? I'll sing it at the end of the stream, but I got, my, my voice is actually kind of messed up today. Riding, riding in my RV. Uh, two plus two is four. Minus one is three. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Lisa, Lisa, I know a place that can fix your axles in Lakeland, Florida. It's uh, Southern Wholesale for Trailers Professionals and well done, reputable work in Lakeland. Uh, can you please send me an, uh, an email, robert at travelingroberts.com with, with the information and def definite Lakeland this is close enough to where I am that I could do a, make it a, a two, three day trip just up there to, to, to get that fixed. Okay, Matt, I guess you didn't see my comment. The chat is very busy. What was your comment? Write it again. I'm sorry if I, if I miss your, uh, your, your comments. The, 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 okay, okay, Matt. Here we go. You inspired me to get an RV. Thank you, sir. You're, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Uh, and uh, <coughs> Dustin in St. Louis, the, you captured the stalling UPS uh, truck shootout video. New city was captured by Robert Morales in Miami. No, it was another Robert Morales. And Luis Mesa, traveling Robert, thinking about moving to Largo, Florida from Charlotte, Carolina. You think it's worth it? Largo. Okay. Um, nice to burst into song. Yeah, it's like a Disney movie, right? Uh, Bob Leach. Um, 
Andy Barley, hey Robert, I love your work. I come out uh, my camper, turn the heat, <laughs> and watch your videos. Cool, it's Sleep RV Repeat. Hey there, in, uh, in one of your la latest videos, you were a traveling nor in North Carolina. You turn on a very narrow street. Have you ever ran into such narrow street and have to back out? Eh, it's happened a couple of times. Um... <clears throat> Thank you, K. Matt. Uh, you should go to the Ofinoki Swamp. Definitely, it's on the it's on the list for sure. Dylan Reynolds. Hey, Robert. I think you're getting a cold. I don't know if it's a cold, but uh, was it yesterday or the day before? I I woke up with a very st stuffy nose, and um, I think it's you know it's uh, I don't know what it is. And I sang last Sunday. And since I don't do it as often anymore, you know, it, I kind of strain my vocal cords a little bit. That could have something to do with it as well. Uh, by the way, tomorrow I'm, I'm singing at a party at a house. Uh, and that's probably the last uh, party for a while. But, you know, it's a little extra um, money. And it's it, I do it almost more for, I mean, besides the money, it's always good, right? But you do it for the social aspect. Of, you know, is we, we've I've played with this with these guys for over 10 years uh, or more so you know it's like a good social club thingy that, that we you know to to to, to that the, the, the only time when we meet uh, anymore is just whenever we have a gig so that's cool uh valerie i'm so happy to hear about your mom uh, going with you in the future yes uh, uh, uh loretta's uh, loretta spalding let me read that before that super chat that just came in are you uh, planning a trip to up 75 north maybe to marietta georgia and red top mountain again would love a meetup we have to do an atlanta area meetup for sure it's very probable because as you know our family lives uh, ailey's family which is my family will they live very close uh, to marietta so we're gonna go to the area and this time, for sure, we're going to do an Atlanta area uh, meetup. Uh, I miss old Kia. Hello from Savannah. Thank you so much for that super chat. Enjoying your current series. Great video quality and editing skills. Suggestions on Cuban food near Kibis Cane. Oh, man. There's a place in Kibis. No. Is there? I don't know if there's any. I haven't been to Kibis Cane in a while. But... Uh... Let me check real quick, actually. You know, it's it's like my backyard, and I don't really know what's going on. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> you know who would know? Probably CLT, but he left. He went to the Hard Rock. Mm. You know, there's not really too many. Uh, there's not a, an authentic Cuban place, I don't think, in Key Biscayne. There's this place called the Oasis, but I don't know. <clears throat> it's a sandwich shop, so they probably have a, 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 a Cuban sandwich, but it seems pretty basic. I think if you want Cuban, you really have to make the drive to Little Havana. It's a 15-20 it's a minute drive, and uh, just go to Versailles or, or, or one of those uh, places. I think. All right, 389. Uh, uh, the chat tonight. This is really cool. All of you here. Um, are the roads in Utah around Grand Canyon, Bryce, and all those places scary to drive on? Not really. They, they're pretty good roads. They're two lane roads, but uh, no, no, I, there, there's nothing too scary in that area. Uh, ever been to Melbourne, Par Palm Bay area? Only in passing, really. Uh, Dylan, hi Robert. Do you have if you have a meetup in Toronto, should Red Jaguar One Hundred travels? That would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool if uh, Red Jaguar is in, in Philly, though. So. Um, <clears throat> Lakeland, Florida has a flu few breweries for meetups. Meetups, yeah, Lakeland. Isn't that where where Paul and Lorena did the RV thing? Uh, <clears throat> uh, the Boaters Grill restaurant. Yeah, Boaters Grill. I was gonna say that. Uh, I nice in it. That's in Kibis King. But Boaters Grill is not uh, 
truly Cuban, it's Latin influenced and they have great seafood. Uh, and they have a great paella. Yeah, I would I would say Boulder's Grill could would qualify as 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 Cuban ish uh, for for sure. Yeah, top engineering. Top engineering automatically held for review. Okay. <laughs> Uh, for first troll that I see, you know, I usually don't don't get to the trolls before uh, uh, um, our moderators. By the way, where's this? This traveler is uh, um, <clears throat> Robert. I noticed you lost weight since Brickle Key walking video in 2015. Great job! Yes, I've lost. I've gained some of it back. Believe it or not, uh, but. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm trying to keep it, you know, more or less. Uh, I, I think that's more or less my my standard, my my ideal weight right now. I like it. Um, I know uh, from Mike Darden, I know in some of your videos where you boondocked at Walmart and you leave because sketchy. Have you had any other problems while on the road? Not really. Um, not really. There've been a, 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 a couple of nights. I, I tried. If I if I don't know exactly where I'm gonna stay, I try not to let nightfall uh, catch me on the road. Um, I used to like driving at night a lot more than than I do now. Uh, hey Robert, are you doing war by tonight? Uh, probably probably not. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, but I, I'm probably not gonna do the war by tonight unless unless some of you guys want want to to, to be on live TV here. Red Jaguar, <clears throat> oh my voice! Will Iliana be able to travel with you to the Alaska trip? Yes, uh, most uh, likely. We are working on it. What is your favorite Cuban dish? Dish, dish, dish. I like a uh, masita de puerco, which is like pork chunks when they are done right. Not not everybody, not every restaurant does them right. If they are dry, I don't like. I like them when they have like a little bit of fat on the side. And uh, yeah, that's one of my favorites. Actually, uh, Cuban style pork in any in any in any style I like, even chicharrones. Clear water or Tampa? Moving to the area for work, but can't decide. Luis Mes, I am not. Uh, I'm not sure uh, because I've only visited and I never actually been to Lakeland, so I don't know. Uh, Lake District in England. Yeah, I definitely want to uh, fun and very scenic. That's for sure. In one of those uh, small uh, Heimers or, or uh, what's the other one? One of those, you know, the German RVs or uh, yeah, Adria. They, they have several brands that are really cool. Uh, I remember when you, uh, Soup 591, uh, uh, I remember when you were in Massachusetts, We almost, you almost stayed in Salem, north of Boston. Just curious why you chose Plymouth instead. Only asking because I live in a town over from Salem and work in Salem. Uh, did this place in, in Plymouth seem like the like a good place to take public transportation into Boston? Of course, that week, the, for some reason, there was some some uh, 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 construction project and the, the, the train wasn't running from from the station that I was staying at. So I, I, I eventually opted to drive into the city. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Albert Garcia, you bring us all together, all these people all together on a Friday night to see you. Thank you. Yeah, and it's mind boggling because uh, 386 people is a lot of people. If we were all in a room, uh, you, you don't realize it uh, like here in the chat, but it, it, it's a lot of us. Paul Falsi, live from Daytona Beach in Paradise Cruiser. I gotta go visit you guys, man. I gotta go visit you guys. Um, have you had any scary moments with animals while you hike? Well, uh, there was a there was a bear at the trail in Yosemite, but there was only one bear and like ten of us hikers. So, and it was a little bear. It was it was like a it was like a big dog, really. Uh, uh, Linnell Phillips. Whoa! Before before the super chat. Hold on, Linnell Phillips. Been a while since I joined your chat. Going to Zion, Grand Canyon, Bryce, Canyonlands, and Arches in August. Any other places I should go along I-70 in Utah? In Utah, seems you travel a bit. A bit. Um, no, I think you got it covered uh, pretty much. Uh, it's gonna be uh, 
very hot in August. So if you can do if you do any hikes, do them in the morning. Bobby Duncan, thank you so much for that super chat. Thanks for being you. Yeah, this one, this one deserves a, 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 a cheers. Thank you so much, Bobby. Uh, Bob Lich, what's your fighting weight? Oh, right now, I'm like when 160, I, I, I'm bouncing up and down between 160 and 165. And that's, I think that's, that's the, the weight that I like. Uh, Peter Brill, hi Robert, you, uh, hope you're able to see Crater Lake. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. Not on, maybe on the way back from, no, I don't know. That's in Oregon, right? Um... I hope so too. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I know. I know. It's it's one of those places that I kind of missed, and it's so far away from from my home base that I should do it the next time I travel out west. Uh, thank you, Luis Navarro, Alex Timblin. Which place do you like to stay the most while on a road trip for overnight? Walmart, rest stops, or something else? Walmart's are fine. Some of them. Cracker barrels seem to be quieter for the most part uh, rest areas i don't like so much because of the the trucks first of all i don't want to take away a, a a parking spot that a trucker might need more than me because that's that's their job also they they tend to uh, idle their engines all night long which is um sometimes you know sometimes it's soothing but for overnight a cracker barrel right now seems to be my uh my uh, my favorite and if i go on a sunday they have fried chicken and I like their, their grandpa's uh, breakfast. So there you go. Uh, Sir Pappy, I sure hope going to the Sun Road is open when you go to Glacier. Probably not. Probably not going to be open. Uh, I'm going to do as much in Glacier as I can. I know I'm going at the wrong time of the year. But um, who knows? <laughs> Uh, Dylan Reynolds, yeah, I know you want to be on the live stream. And uh, no, I don't think I'm going to do the word by tonight. Let's just uh, chat like we are doing here. And um, and it's, 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 it's fun. Yeah, I wasn't monitoring myself here. How's the audio, by the way? I think sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm over modulating a little bit, but. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Dustin, that armadillo that ran out on you and scared the heck out of you was so funny. That the, the one in, in uh, the one in at the Alabama Hills, I think, it was some kind of bird that was nesting there. Um, Lynn McNeil, favorite place to travel in the U.S. Uh, nature, as far as nature, I'm, I'm, I'm still still partial to the Grand Canyon. It's one of those places. Twenty-nine pounds on the moon, <laughs> and Jay and Bruza. Hey Robert, do you see any moose while you were in Alaska the last time you were there? Yes, I sure did in Fairbanks. Um, we went with our at the, at the time. Uh, uh, my cousin uh, Lisette, she was living there in Fairbanks, and uh, they drove us around. Her her daughter-in-law at the time, and um, and we saw moose. Yeah. And then I saw moose again in uh, in Grand Teton. In Grand Teton, I saw moose, but you haven't seen those videos yet. Bob and Tam's excellent adventures. You are in San Antonio boondockering. All right, in San Antonio, of course, I met Bob and Tam's at uh, Tampa, at the Tampa RV show. And uh, the week before, they were at the RV thing, right? Uh, Adam Buser, good afternoon. Uh, um, where are you live streaming at? This is home home base here in, in Miami, Florida. As, as you guys know, I'm, I'm not a full-timer yet. I may, I may never become a full-timer. I may not always live in a, a house in Miami. I might move somewhere else eventually. But, um, but yeah, I kind of like having a home base with, with you know, to stay a part of the year. We are your fantastic fans. LOL. Hi, Bobby Duncan. That's cool. Custom what? 
Custom Wheel Horse Tractor, Eric. Awesome host. Thank you. Adios Perfect. Oh, no, Adios Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, one crazy family. Hello there. Pretty late, but we made it. Not a really a Friday night without Robert's chat. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, will you be able to be visit Banff National Park in Alberta? Definitely. That's one of the, the highlights of the trip. Do you plan, uh, uh, Dylan, Dylan Reynolds, do you plan on visiting Edmonton, Alber Alberta or, or Calgary? Maybe. And on the way back, I want to I wanna visit Winnipeg. I have uh, some, some, some friends there. Uh, actually, one of the first uh, people that I met up when, when we had like not even 10,000 subscribers, they came to Miami and they, they invited me to lunch back then. So, um, and we met again uh, recently. Was it at the Tampa show? Yeah, it was at the Tampa show. Uh, Mount Rushmore will be a great trip to make and that's coming up in about a month in my channel after after Washington and uh, and uh, yeah I went east never really seeing any UFOs not with my naked eye some people said that some of the one of the, the the lights that happened in my Marfa lights time lapse that I was a UFO it could have been a plane but yeah uh, Greg Warren, uh, Robert, you are so cool. Are you going to Hershey in September? Most likely, I'm going to try to go uh, uh, to Hershey. Delia Williams, said, uh, nice listening to you live. Good night from Lake Placid, Florida. Hello there, Lake Placid. I've, I've, I've zoomed past Lake Placid many times on, on, um, on I, no, US, US 27, and they never stopped. Uh, Bob Leach, I weigh 20 pounds more than you, same height. Does that mean I'm fat? No, it could be muscle. It could be muscle uh, mass. Uh, Ainari Sene, hello, fellow Pelican heads. Have you been in the beautiful Jackson Hole or and Yellowstone? I've been in Yellowstone and Jackson Hole, and those videos are coming up in about a month or so. Maybe a little more. I, I, I really want to get to Yellowstone. That, that, that's like the highlight of the... Of the, the, the you, know, you know, like... If the trip goes up, up, and up and down. Yellowstone is like the 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 the, the, the high point of the trip, and not, not that after Yellowstone it gets uh, bad by any means. I I did visit a, a lot of places, but it was a little rushed uh, until I went to Ohio. In Ohio, I I kind of slowed down a little bit, but um, the trip after if if you think the trip has been rushed so far, wait wait till we leave Seattle. Alicia Burton, hello there. Yes, uh, I too like house and garden. Also like to travel. Well, I'm not too much of a fan of the garden, to be honest. It seems like a chore sometimes. But I, I, sometimes I like to have a home base with a comfortable shower and super fast internet. Yes. Banff will be awesome. I really hope so. Soup591. Uh, we love to get up there someday. Can't wait for your trip coverage of that area. Sure. Ah, Andy Barley, your smaller generator is a twenty five hundred total and two twenty star. Yeah, it is a twenty five hundred. I'm going to the Dallas RV show tomorrow. All right, looking forward to seeing everything there. Cool, a Dallas RV show. Hi, Robert, when you edit the Toronto video after Alaska, are you going to do anything, put any any clips from 2013? If I can find, the, the, I, I'm sure I can find it. Everything after the California trip is kind of well organized. Before California, I've lost some footage. I wasn't as organized back then. But I might, I might. Ricky um, meant to say your smaller generator, 2500 total, 2200 watt startup. You know, I'm not certain right now. Is the is the Westinghouse i2500? I'm sure the, the 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 specs are online. I'm not sure right now, but I'm pretty sure it's 2500 peak 2200 uh, program, which is uh, what they use for for speakers. What would it, what what would it be uh, for for a generator? Anyways, <laughs> uh, the real Robert. 
Hey, Paul Falsi, you're quiet tonight. Lisa, Lisa, what do you use the most? A solar, propane, or hookup from parks? Uh, it depends. I really like to boondock. The, the, my weak point is the batteries. Uh, but uh, as you saw in California, I boondocked most of my way north. And in Oregon, I didn't as much. And the thing is, as this trip progresses, my AGM battery starts getting worse and worse to the point that uh, one night in, 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 and I don't even know if I did, if I talk about this on the video, when I mean, you guys see it in about a month, in Yellowstone, one night my battery died completely. Even the refrigerator stopped working because there wasn't enough juice to keep the electronics going. And, um, uh, and it, it was one of those campgrounds where they don't allow generators and I didn't want to wake everybody up early in the morning. So I, 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 I had a flashlight. <laughs> that was a one, one lonely night in Yellowstone. Uh, Asura, Robert, do you have any kids that have a stepson? Yes. RV weekends. Uh, it was great meeting you in Tampa. Hopefully, we'll get to meet you at a meetup soon. Hopefully, yes. I'm gonna try to start doing more meetups. And I was, I was, I, I, I think I wrote it on the newsletter this morning that uh, I'm thinking of, of you know, doing a page in travelingrobert.com, like travelingrobert.com/meetups, and do like a schedule and maybe a way for you guys to RSVP. I'm, I'm looking into different solutions to do that because, yeah. <clears throat> George Coro, good night, dear Robert. Time to sleep here in Sweden. Have a great time. You too. And Andrew Ivanov, howdy. How's the new truck doing so far? So far, so good. It's doing okay. The muffler is making some weird noise, but they want too much money to fix it. So, nope. Dominique Morgan, hello there. Jorge Pineda. Uh, Robert, what's your favorite beer while you travel? Love your video. P Pineda from Kendall. Any, any good IPA, really. I am not... Um, I'm not all that picky. Paul Falsey, wow, 368. Wish they were at the rally we had for Robert in San Antonio. Can you imagine? We would have taken over that campground. Rigoberto Paula, uh, I would love to do a road trip to Alaska. I was there on a cruise. It was awesome. I just need to hydrate, you know, guys. Uh, Hey, from St. Louis. Hello there. Jose Piedra. Hello there, RM, from uh, a cliffhanger. Uh, how about a cliffhanger on your next video? Maybe. Maybe I'll hang off a cliff. Uh, <laughs> uh, Greg Graham is going midnight here. Great to chat with you. Good night, all. Good night, Greg, Greg Graham. And it's if it's midnight, it's, uh, it's on the other side of the pond. Hi Robert, are you gonna make it driving to the West Part Two? At some point, I wanna, I wanna last uh, the last years driving to the West. I wanna make it into into several movies, and, uh, and next winter I'm gonna drive to the West, which in, it would be technically Part Three, I guess, because it is the third time that I do, do, did that. I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna do I-10 this time. I wanna do US 95 most of the time. Uh, Hugh Currents, I my daughter just visited Death Valley with her geology class from Ohio. All right, Death Valley is a, a magical place. Can you sing Yo Yo, my friend? What? Lucky dog, sure a lot of trolls here tonight. Yeah, right. Uh, I guess it it comes with the territory of having three hundred and seventy five uh, people watching. But you know, I'm 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 sure you guys are are keeping them in check. Uh, Adventure Squad, my family loves waking up to watch your videos on Sunday mornings. Hi, Cafe. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, what happened to the lithium power supply? It's there. I have actually have three of them. Uh, so I'm going to take him to Alaska. Uh, Matt, uh, come on, Bottleborn, help, help Robert out. Actually, I spoke to Bottleborn about uh, a little over a year ago. And when they told me to, to email him back in January and then I went to the West and I, I didn't really follow up with them all that much. They, they had a, a, a bunch of, you know, like a, like a whole document of regulations and stuff. So, um, and, uh, so maybe, maybe one of these days, Ted's Laugh, uh, Family Adventures. How do I subscribe to your newsletter? Just go to travelingrobert.com. 
there's a spot there where you that where it says literally this is where you subscribe to the newsletter let me see if i can show you no traveling robert.com uh, admin no just uh, regular traveling robert.com and uh, <clears throat> here it is oh i have to change that video that's and you can join the mailing list here on the right as you can see there's a joining join the mailing list uh, icon or you can do it down here as well you know i have two different places so it's easy travelingrobert.com that's uh, that's the web page the blog that's where the the podcast resides really uh, a train factor hi robert i used to live in northern british columbia do people still all break their windshields on the alaska highway from the gravel roads or are they paved now i think most of the alaska highway is paved now but yeah i've heard anecdotally that some people uh, do break their windshields not not every road is paved especially if you take that that uh, top of the world is it called it uh, going to the top of the world uh, road the one that goes through chicken uh, but uh, but if i do I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna buy one of those repair kits just in case scott horn hello there hi robert and fellow pelican heads from greenwood south carolina happy friday fly pelican fly can you believe it's 7.19 already? Time has flown tonight. Time has flown tonight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it for a couple more minutes. I, I, I wish we would make it to 400. Did we ever make it to 400? Uh, oh, we made it to 3.99. I'm looking here in my, in my stats. We made it to 3.99. Doesn't tell me the time. Yeah, at, at around uh, 6.50. I missed that. All right. But yeah. It's been a great uh, chat tonight. I'm gonna I'm gonna st stay uh, for a, for a few more minutes here, and then we're gonna sing a song and and uh, maybe go out. Maybe I'll maybe I'll take Ily on a date. Uh, cliffhanger is Angels Landing for Robert. Yeah, that much is certain. Uh, Robert, say hi to my wife in Vienna for for me. She's watching right now. Hey, uh, David's wife in Vienna. Hello there. And one of these days, I'll go to Vienna. I have to thank you because you teach me to use frozen sofrito. <laughs> yes, sure. I haven't used it in a while, actually. Uh, Roberto Pura Vida MAE from 395 Expeditions. Luis Mesa, any drones in any new drones in the future? The, the Mavic Pro is still working fine. I'd rather I'd rather invest uh, in a new camera. Uh, in, in, uh, until I crash the drone, I'm going to keep this one. How many hours can you drive and feel okay? My cutoff is about four or five hours, and then I stop. Mine, too, is not as much the hours. I, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it uh, half a Texas. That's my unit. I don't do miles, kilometers, or half a Texas. Half a Texas is 400 miles. <laughs> and that's pretty much my maximum. Um, Adam... Um, hmm. Ooh. have you ever visited the bass pro shop camping store before yes i have i have actually i visited the pyramid one in memphis tennessee which is like a super huge one and it has the the, the tallest freestanding elevator in the united states ricky ramos dimelo robert just open another beer cheers let me know when you pass by jack's florida so we can meet and have a beer. i have to do a meetup in jacksonville florida for sure and um, meet up again with uh, um, my good friend uh, um Randall, oh my God, what's wrong with me? The, the beer, that beer is not. Uh, Randall, which is a rich family TV here on YouTube. And, and he, I haven't seen him in a while. And uh, he used to clean, he used to be Minitini's official uh, RV detailer, did detailing. So he, he owns it. Uh, but that definitely, uh, and I've, you know, I've never actually visited Jacksonville, like explore the city. So definitely have to do that. Uh, William Mitchell, my wife and I new to your channel. It feels like you're a good friend now. My wife has a question. How does Ileana avoid being in the videos? Why? Though? She's very private. She doesn't really like uh, like being in front of the camera. And, uh, you know, I, I uh, once in a while, she'll, she, she, she'll make a cameo appearance. But uh, that's how it is. Uh, Jamie Avila, thank you so much for that super chat. Hello, longest you driven nonstop. Cheers, cheers to you. Maybe I need to get a new beer. Let me find out. I think I, I, I once drove nonstop, and let me see if that's longest. 
the, the, the two longest that I remember from Char from Charleston, South Carolina to Miami, Florida. That was 585 miles, eight hours and 37 minutes according to this, but it took all day. I, I arrived to Miami like at 1 a.m. or something like that. And the other one was from Minneapolis, Minnesota to, um, let's call it St. Louis. It was the outskirts of St. Louis, Missouri. And that one was 538 miles, eight hours. And so that, those two are, are more or less there neck to neck. And those have been the two longest uh, that I've driven in one day. That's it. Um, okay. Doo -doo -doo. Um, who, who, who did I miss? Uh, Di Diane Sky. Hello from Utah. What, what is your favorite part of Yellowstone? And let me tell you something. On, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to like Yellowstone as much as possible. I mean, have smoke coming out of the ground. What's so special about it? But once you're there, it is special. I liked that Geyser Basin where, where uh, Old Faithful is. That place is surreal. I really like the what's the 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 the, the, the springs that are on the north part that are like a, oh what's it called rainbow no it's not rainbow springs it's uh I'm gonna have to look it up on a map and I was pleasantly surprised also by a by the great by the canyon the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone but. Yeah, my computer, I, you know, I have to, I have to start. I have no idea what I'm doing here. But it's the, the hot springs that are on the north part of the park. My computer is too, too slow right now and I can't find it. It's not by Old Faithful. But I'm sure if you are familiar with, uh, with Yellowstone, you know which one. I'm talking about I'm trying to find them here because uh, forget it I'm not gonna find them now oh, of course it's further north mammoth hot spring mammoth hot spring was really cool but yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a <clears throat> uh, okay. What's the weirdest food from Rebecca Hernandez? What the weirdest food you have, you have eaten while, when camping? Oh man, I don't know. Weirdest food. I mean, I've made some weird combination of omelets with veggies and beans and stuff. But, um, I don't know. I can't say. No, man, man, doesn't, nothing comes to mind right now. If it does, I, I will uh, let you know. Paula Maloney, question. How do you plan your trips? What website, maps, and apps do you use? Thanks. Um, well, lately, since, since I've been doing this for so long and you guys make me so many recommendations, I, I, I go by your recommendations a lot. If you tell me, if you are uh, many of the places that I visited in California, like that that uh, um, that cookhouse, the, the the Samoa cookhouse, the things that people told me about. Um, I also use RoadTrippers.com. I use uh, I Google a lot. I if I go to a city where I've never been to, and the Google thinks I'm talking to it, um, I go to uh, to the to the visitors bureau website, and I see okay, what's there to do here? You know, like when I went to Victoria. In British Columbia, when oh they they this is what they recommend. You know they usually recommend the touristy stuff, but you know it's it's a, it's a good resource as well. But those are the main ones. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, what type of drone do you have? I have the DJI Mavic Pro. It's old, but it's still good. Dusting in Seattle. 
in Seattle, no, in ST St. Louis. After last video, we definitely know you don't like dirty windows, lol. Yeah, I have a thing, and 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 uh, especially at, at a tourist attraction where you have to look through a window to see uh, the thing, you know, it's uh, yeah. What should first time visitors do in Miami for one whole day? Go to South Beach, check out the Art Deco district, and then come into Little Havana, have a Cuban sandwich and Cuban coffee, or maybe pork chunks. And uh, Corey Wolfhart, any in early videos you were towing with an SUV, was it difficult? Uh, is it easier with a truck? Well, the truck definitely has more power. Old Kia, uh, what happened with old Kia in flat? You know, when I bought the RV, I had my day job and... and it was very unlikely that I would ever get out of South Florida on a, on a, unless I went for two weeks. Florida is flat. So in flat terrain with the Kia, it, it worked fine. Now, when, when the, the first time I hit a mountain, uh, the Kia started overheating. Yep. Uh, have you ever thought of doing a blooper segment on your videos? Sometimes, and, and, and uh, actually, I just uploaded one. Thank you so much for remi reminding me. If you're a member or a patron, you're gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna release a video th this evening uh, with no bloopers but outtakes, and that's what I do. And one of these days, I'm gonna do a public one for everybody. But um, that that that's something. If, if you if you choose to 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 buy me a beer through through Patreon or or, or membership, I um. That's something that I, you know, give give back to you guys once in a while. I, I haven't done done them in, in a while, but uh, yeah. Uh, and I don't have all that many bloopers. It's mostly uh, outtakes. You know, I I shoot a lot of video. I shoot a lot of video. Probably half of the video that I shoot ends up in in, in, in the proverbial cutting room floor. Um. Pivoting in Georgia? No, 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 no. Asura, I don't know about that. Uh, thank you, Karen Nolan Shoot. Uh, Real Mist. Okay. <laughs> it's been a five troll night, lol. Yeah, it's been it's been one of those nights, which is okay. I'm glad I have uh, I have moderators here because I couldn't I couldn't deal with it. Um, hello, what was? Um, what was your review of Big White, the truck you had when Kia went to its final resting place? At the at the moment, I, I was a little uh, more unhappy with it than I than I am now. Uh, but um, it's 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 probably too big for the style of travel that I want to do. I want to be able to make a U turn uh, pretty much anywhere, and that truck did not have a good turning uh, ratio. I'm gonna check out that piffy thing in in Georgia. Really remote. I like remote. I can't find it on Google, so. <laughs> Jose Piedra planning any trip to Casa Juanchero for lunch? Um, we usually, we, we, Ili and I usually go to the bar whenever we're like on a whim, whenever we feel like having a, a drink. And we've known the, the bartenders there, so, some of the bartenders for, for over 10 years or 20 years, and the musicians too. So, um, yeah. El Big Rican. My daughter wants to go to Yellowstone, want to see Yosemite. Which one of the two do you, do you, do you prefer? Pre -pre -pre prefer. They're two totally different uh, places. Yosemite is more awe-inspiring, but it's only one place. Yellowstone is huge. It's a huge place with a lot of variety. Yellowstone, you're gonna see uh, oh, whoop, whoop. you're gonna see a lot more wildlife like bison and uh, that kind of thing. Um, a Yellowstone, uh, Rebecca Hernandez, did it smell like sulfur a little bit, especially when you are next to to the geysers? Uh, yes. Yes, for sure. Real mist. I was joking about that. Love your video. So I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't see the the previous video. I didn't get to see it. When you go to Alaska, how many spare trailer tires will you take with? I'm gonna pr probably try to take a second a second spare, just in case. 
Although I, I have that uh, tire plug kit and I've used it once and it worked uh, quite well. So um, if it is a regular flat, not a blowout, but a regular flat, I'm confident like a nail. I'm confident that I can repair it myself. Uh, Robert, did you get the plaque for one million yet? Well, not quite one million, Paul, but a hundred thousand. <laughs> and um, they say it takes a while. I'm going to give him a month. So I'm going to wait until the end of February and then I'm going to send them an email like, what's up with my... And su supposedly on, on Creator Studio, I'm supposed to get a notification on the top when they uh, decide. And then I click on the thing, I fill out a form and they take a couple of months. Um, I probably won't get it before Alaska, but... Uh, Ozzy305, thank you so much for that super chat. Thanks for all you do. No, you're welcome. Thank you for the super chat and um, for being here in the, the in the Friday chat. Uh, what brand of tonneau cover do you own from Diane Sky? I say, it's a, an Extang Solid Fold 2.0. It's really good. Uh, visit more remote areas and name the videos remote locations. Absolutely. Okay, everybody. I'm gonna I'm gonna start wrapping this up. I was gonna open a second beer, but uh, I'm thinking I might regret that, especially if we I mean, we might go out uh, now after um, after I close out the chat. So I want to thank you guys for being here. And uh, all uh, 364 of you watching right now. It's mind-boggling that you choose to be here uh, uh, with me on a uh, on a Friday night, and uh, so many of you. I mean, imagine a room full of 356 people. It's mind-boggling, but I really appreciate it. I really, uh, I really have a good time doing this, and uh, and um, I'm gonna keep on doing it. Let me sing. A, let me sing you a song. Uh, hi from did you finish your new song I just I just I have a recorder here I just come up with a new one it's not a song it's more like it's kind of similar to, to uh, like Lofoten it's one of those like for uh, Christopher Olsen isn't it past your bedtime in Sweden Thank you for tonight. Hope I'll be back from a hospital so I can watch you next Friday. Hope so too, man. Oh, by the way, I made a chicken fricassee today that came out. Mm, awesome. I didn't take a video though. Everybody sing along. Cause I'm riding, I'm riding in my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV, yeah, I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV. night everybody happy friday have a wonderful weekend um, happy travels if you're traveling and uh, see you on the road see you next friday same channel same time same station good night thank you for being